Hi there. Okay, so this is Elizabeth Rocha and we have our um, crock pot recipe for today and this is the crock pot stuffed bell pepper soup recipe. I can't wait to taste this recipe. So the ingredients, like I said, are already in the instructions and recipes list. Make sure that you have all the ingredients that you need for this recipe. Um, this recipe also calls for some rice. So you can either do instant rice or you can meal prep a ton of rice ahead of time and that way you have rice for any other of the crock pot meals that you are putting together this week. Okay, so you can do whole grain rice, you can do white rice, you can do jasmine rice, quinoa, um, instant rice, that's the best kind because it's done um, and ready to go. You can get some of the rice bowls from Costco and you put them in the microwave 90 seconds and they are ready to go and then you can add it to your crock pot meal once, um, once it's time for you to add that to the meal. So again, we're gonna add all the ingredients to the bag and as you guys can see, I write on here what the recipe is, the date, and I also wrote on here that I need to add three cups of beef broth, okay? Beef broth, and I'll add the beef broth once I add the ingredients from the bag inside the crock pot. And don't forget, you wanna put your liner, your crock pot liner, in the crock pot before adding your ingredients. If you don't have any liners, that's okay. But again, if you want to simplify your dinner time, remember, this is just gonna make it easier for you to clean up. Having these meals ready to go are already going to help you with trying to figure out what to eat, right? So again, we're gonna go ahead and add the extra lean ground turkey. And what I did with the turkey for this recipe I did cook it with the onions ahead of time. And I did add extra ground turkey because we just love this stuff, okay? And I'm gonna save some for lunch meals, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add the turkey to the bag. Let me go ahead and move this so you can see a little bit of it. Okay, so I'm adding the turkey to the bag. And I let this cool down, not that, anything would happen to it. I'm gonna let it sit out for a little bit longer before I go to bed. I'll put it away in the freezer because this is one of the last meals for the week, okay? But again, if whichever day you wanna have the meals, that's okay with you, okay? That's, that's up to you. So then I have my ground turkey there and I have some left over here that I'm gonna set aside. Okay, and now I'm gonna add the bell peppers. This is a bell pepper soup. And I have here green bell pepper and the red bell pepper. If you wanna add orange bell pepper, feel free to do so as well. Okay, so there is the bell pepper. Now we can add the one can of tomato sauce. And then we can add the diced basil, garlic, and oregano. And this is, smells so good. I know some of you, if you are not a big fan of canned tomato, then you'll just have to dice up your tomatoes and add the spices, okay? And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of basil, okay? So half a teaspoon. And there's a teaspoon, and then we're gonna add our packet of chili seasoning. It says one and a half, you know, um, we're not big on a lot of sodium, so I know chili seasoning can be pretty salty, so I'm just adding one packet of the seasoning. And that's it right there. We have everything. I'm looking at the ingredients list. Everything is added in this bag. What I'm gonna do, like I said, I'll add the rice. Um, afterwards, after this is fully cooked, um, you put it in the crock pot for six to eight hours on low first thing in the morning, and don't forget to add the beef broth when you add your ingredients to the crock pot, okay? So that's why I wrote it on the bag so that when I take out the bag, I'm reminded of what I need to do to complete this meal and add it to the crock pot. Don't forget to push start. And let me tell you, I cannot wait to taste this because I love stuffed bell peppers. So I can only imagine how good it tastes in a soup. So again, if you have any questions about this recipe, 
please message me please comment below let me know how else i can help you prepare this meal but let me tell you the ingredients it's pretty simple as you can see just make sure that you have your ground turkey cooked you have your rice cooked um, ahead of time make a big bag so that way you can add it to your other meals and you'll be set to go for a delicious dinner and remember crock pot meals are meant to cut back on stress to help you you know have more time for family time for you know downtime to unwind and just make your life a lot easier and also any leftovers package them for lunch get some tupperware package it for lunch and guess what you're gonna save some money you're gonna save some time and if you are wanting to read some health and fitness goals this is the way to do it because you're not running around skipping meals or running for fast food you have your homemade meals that are really good and your entire family are going to love these and the whole point is to make meals that you can rotate throughout the week you do these meals and then you add some other ones and guess what before you know it you're gonna have 30 new meals and you'll have a folder put together where you have all these ideas and little by little you'll be able to just you know get the shopping list go shopping and prep your foods and just make dinner time that much less stressful again thank you and if you have any questions make sure you reach out to me have a great day bye bye